Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joy Uzo TV. If this is your first time of coming across my video, you are very welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make French coins. Three ways you can make French coins. You know in my last video, I promised that I was going to make French coins without a mop stick and without a pipe. If it sounds like something you are interested in, then keep watching. So guys, this is the attachment I'm going to be using. I cut it into two and I feather out the ends. So I'm going to be adding shea butter, you know, as usual, to make it very soft. I will be using this flexi rod. You know, one flexi rod is kind of small that is not the size of a french coins so to get that big coins we are going to tie it together you can also use thread to tie this to give it that round shape that's the reason why i'm tying it this how it's looking after i straightened it i reduced my straightener to 140 degree so it don't melt and i will be showing you three ways you can do it this is the first method I'm just going to roll it around the flexi rod very close to each other so I can get a much defined coils. I'm just going to use my bobby pin to secure it at the end. For this second method guys, I just go ahead and tied uh, a thread on the middle part of the, of the attachment. Then I'm going to roll half of the attachment like where you want the coils to begin. So I just roll half of it and also go in with my bobby pin. For this second method, you know we just wrap only the ends and you can use this rod for a lot of extension like almost full pack so the next thing i'm doing is to add my conditioner into hot water after putting it in hot water i'm just going to allow it to dry on its own now the air is fully dried i'm sorry for the change I just added the oil shim to make it easier to separate when I'm about to use it. Before I put it to a test to see if we've done well, I'm going to show you the third method. If you are doing it on someone, just braid all the hair halfway, tie it and straighten it. Then the next thing I'm going to be using is rollers. I will be using these small rollers, bobby pin and water for demonstration. For it to stay on the rollers, you need to put water. I use these small rollers. There's another one that is bigger than this. I think this is the second to the biggest rollers. You should use that one to get that French coils because French coils is not small, it's a big coils. I just add my conditioner to hot water and I'm going to put the hair. I'm doing it this way in case you are doing it on someone 
but if you are making a wig you just remove the, the, the cap and put it inside hot water I'm just going to tap dry it for it to dry a little and the next thing I did I covered it because I'm going to blow dry it you don't blow dry when it's open it's going to scatter if you are making it on someone all you need to do is just get a light chiffon cloth and cover the rollers part then blow dry it and you are good to go before I unravel this one I'm just going to braid with the one that I made before so you can see the difference this is the one with the coily ends Guys, tell me what you think about the coils in the comment section. If this video was helpful to you, please do not forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up, share and comment. Also like and follow my page. If you are a returning subscriber, you guys are the boss. Thanks for always stopping by. I really appreciate you. God bless you. When you dress up for the night And I don't say a word It's not that I don't know this Feel free to check out my other videos And I will see you in my next video Love you